Lesson 10.6, Word Problem Solving Customary Conversions, Metric Conversions. We can use the strategy Make a Table to help us solve problems about customary and metric conversions. We use the table to find the correct conversion factor. Then we multiply or divide the given number of units by the conversion factor. So far, we've learned to use division with whole numbers to convert a smaller unit to a larger unit. In this lesson, we'll also multiply a fraction to convert a smaller unit to a larger unit. There are four quarts in one gallon, so a quart is one-fourth of a gallon. If we have 12 quarts, we can multiply it by one-fourth, which is the fraction of a gallon. It's equal to 12 fourths, which is equal to three gallons. And for this problem, multiplying by one-fourth is the same thing as dividing by four whole. We get the same answer. And we can make and use a conversion table. I'm going to have copies of some conversion tables on my Joanne School Facebook page in the photo section. We see one quart is equal to one-fourth of a gallon. We start reading from the left, one quart, and then we look up to see the unit that it's equal to. One cup is equal to a half gallon, and one cup is equal to a half pint. See? One cup is equal to one-fourth quart. See that? Start reading on the left, and then look up. Bob made 72 cups of lemonade. He wants to store the lemonade in gallon containers. How many gallon containers will Bob need? So we think we will make and use a table to show the relationship between the number of cups and the number of gallons. And we'll find a cup as a fraction of a gallon. Then we can use sequences to find the number of gallons Bob will have from 72 cups. So we need a conversion table for liquid capacity for customary measures. We start with a blank conversion table and we write the units across the top and on the left side. On the left side, we're going to have one gallon, one quart, one pint, and one cup. Across the top, it's just going to say gallon, quart, pint, cup. So notice that this one has a one, okay? Then we're going to write a one in the boxes for equal units. One gallon is equal to a gallon. One quart is a quart. One pint is a pint, and one cup is one cup. See that? Now that we have this part filled out, we're going to go from one gallon is four quarts. That means one quart is one gallon. And one gallon is eight pints, so one pint is one eighth gallon. One gallon is 16 cups, so one cup is one sixteenth of a gallon. We start reading on the left and we look up. Okay, so now we have these filled out. One quart is two pints. That means one pint is a half quart. Now we can fill out that one quart is four cups. That means one cup is one fourth of a quart. So now we have these two filled out. Now we can go to the next one. One pint is two cups. That means one cup is half of a pint. Now we have a conversion table for customary liquids. And again, I have a copy of this in my photo section on my Facebook page. We see that each cup is 1 16th of a gallon. We go to one cup. We see it's 1 16th. We look up for gallon. We can make a table of values showing the sequences for cup and the sequences for gallon. We find the relating rule. One cup is one sixteenth of a gallon. That means two cups would be two sixteenths, which simplifies to one eighth. Three cups would be three sixteenths of a gallon. Four cups would be four sixteenths, which simplifies to one fourth. And we need 72 cups. And the relating rule is multiply by one sixteenth we get four and a half. We do 72 times 1 16th, which is 72 16ths. 
we see how many times 16 fits into 72. It fits in four times because 16 times four is 64. We get eight left over when we subtract, and we've learned before that we can use the remainder as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator to write it as a fraction. We get four and eight sixteenths, which simplifies to four and a half. That means Bob is going to need five one-gallon containers to hold four and a half gallons. So remember, he only had one-gallon containers that he wanted to use. That means one container is only going to be half full. Sophia has nine meters of ribbon. She needs to cut the ribbon into one decimeter long pieces for a sewing project. How many one decimeter pieces can she cut? So we think we can make a table to show the relationship between the number of decimeters and the number of meters. Here's one meter, that's 10 decimeters. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters. That means our relating rule is going to be multiplied by 10. So we talked about conversion factors in the beginning of the video. A conversion factor is a relating rule. This would be a conversion factor of 10 because we're multiplying by 10. Sophia can cut 9 times 10 is 90. She can cut 91 decimeter lengths to finish her sewing project. Now, since one meter is equal to 10 decimeters, we could have drawn nine rectangles to represent the nine meters. And then we could have split each rectangle into 10 equal parts, or written 10 in each rectangle to go quicker. Each rectangle represents 10 decimeters. We do nine times 10, that's 90 decimeters. Sophia will have 91 decimeter pieces. Using powers of 10 to solve the problem, here we have our strip showing our base units of meter, liter, and gram. And we can see decimeter is one power of 10 away from meter. 10 to the first power, that's equal to 10. We would do the nine meters of ribbon that Sophia had times 10 decimeters in one meter gives us 90 decimeters. Lou is filling a 15 gallon aquarium with water using a one quart container. How many times will he need to fill the quart container to fill the aquarium? We think we can make a table of values to show the relationship between gallon and quart. So because we're doing gallons and quarts, the gallons on the top, one gallon is four quarts and one times four is four. That means our relating rule, our conversion factor is four. It's multiplied by four. That means two gallons, two times four is eight, would be eight quarts. And three gallons would be 12 quarts. Four gallons would be 16 quarts. To find 15 gallons, we would do 15 times four. That would be 60 quarts. The number of gallons, 15 times four, that conversion factor, that relating rule, is going to equal the number of quarts. So Lou filled the container 60 times. If Lou filled the aquarium with only 44 quarts, how many gallons is that? So we think we can use our table to find the relationship between quarts and gallons. So our table had gallons to quarts. For quarts to gallons, if one gallon is four quarts, then one quart is one fourth of a gallon. We do the number of quarts, 44, times one fourth. That's our conversion factor, our relating rule. 44 times one fourth is equal to 44 fourths. And 44 divided by four is 11. That means he did 11 gallons. Sophia put trim around the edge of a triangle dog bandana. So here's the dog bandana she made, and she used this pink pom-pom trim. Each side is 14 inches long. Sophia has two and a half feet of trim left. What was the length of the trim when she started? Write the answer in yards. So it's a triangle dog bandana, and a triangle has three sides. 
it told us that each side was 14 inches long. Three sides times 14 inches, well, that's 42 inches. 12 inches is equal to one foot, or we could say one inch is equal to one twelfth of a foot. We can divide 42 divided by 12, or we can multiply 42 times one twelfth. Either way, we'll get the same answer. 12 fits into 42 three times because 12 times 3 is 36. We subtract and get a 6, and we can use this remainder 6 as the numerator and the divisor 12 as the denominator and get 3 and 6 twelfths, which simplifies to 3 and a half feet used. It said she had 2 and a half feet of trim left over. We add the 3 and a half feet she used to the 2 and a half feet that was left over, and we get 6 feet because we're looking for the length of trim she started with. That's what she used. That's what's left over. That must be what she started with. Now, we can do 6 divided by 3 feet in 1 yard, or we could do 6 feet in all times 1 third, because each foot is a third of a yard. And we get 6 thirds, which is equal to 2 yards when she started. Be very careful when you're reading these conversion tables. You start on the left and then look up. So one cup is one sixteenth of a gallon. One quart is one fourth of a gallon. One pint is one half of a quart. Start on the left and then look up. Our next lesson, 10.7, is about elapsed time and converting units of time. Have a wonderful day. I hope I'll see you there. Remember to hit the like button. Bye.